Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fantasy Football. I thought I'd create a video and talk about a few players that I picked out for the preseason. Now of course we've got a number of players to watch out for and because of the World Cup issue, a lot of players are still on holidays, uh, a lot of players actually hasn't come back to the training um, sessions so far. So some of the players that I picked out from that I'm really got my eye on that I really need to see exactly what they're going to be doing for their teams. So I'll come up with a few players. Um, basically what I want to do is quickly talk about them. Now of course we don't know if they're going to start, we don't know if they're going to do well but you know considering we had the World Cup and a lot of players are missing they could start to play, they could do well for their teams and um, it's just some players that we need to watch out for. We need to check and see if they're actually going to do well in the preseason. And if they do play a lot, then they've got a really good chance to actually start. So let's start off with the goalkeepers. Now I've got Fabianski and Foster. Two incredible goalkeepers. Very, very cheap. Uh, Fabianski here with over 25% owned and price tag of 4.5. A really good goalkeeper, had nine clean sheets, um, saved three penalties as well that actually helped us a lot and just a really good option to think about. Now of course we have to see how well um, West Ham does, you know, if they're going to be leaking a lot of goals or if they're going to be more solid. But no matter what they do, I think Fabieski is going to save a lot, a lot of shots and he was one of the probably the best option last season. So watch out for this guy guys, you need to see how well he plays, if you don't have him in your team I think you should get him unless you're going for a premium goalkeeper, but I thought I'd give you guys another option with Foster, now of course with a new team we don't know how well they're going to do, how well they're going to gel, with 3.4% ownage which is lower than Fabianski, still a decent price tag as well, 10 clean sheet with West Brom, it's okay, um, but yeah, I mean, not many saves as Fabieski, so... But I got him in my team so far because I'm going to be rotating um, my players around, my goalkeepers around. So Fabieski is going to be playing against Liverpool in the first game. And then you've got Foster, who's actually playing against Brighton at home. So these are some of the options that you can do. See, these are the, some of the strategies that you can go for. You can go for a premium goalkeeper like De Gea or Edison... And have a really cheap like a player that does like 4.0 goalkeeper on your bench or get two goalkeepers that actually plays rotate them around depending on what fixtures they got and hope for the best um they could still do well in the big games but i think having two options might do well and it might be more fun so first up we got aaron here a defender from Crystal Palace and the good thing about this player is he's 4.0 now I know he might not even start every single game we don't know that yet but he did play one of the first and um, preseason games uh, he did well and if he is gonna be a playing defender with that price tag I think we need to know about this player so you know he had um, two clean sheets he actually did okay uh, in the last few games for Crystal Palace so we need to watch out for this guys we need to watch out for him there's not many um, prices there that is 4.0 playing and player so if this guy actually does play he might actually do really really well for us we'll squeeze out a lot of money to get anything we want next up we got Luke Shaw now he didn't play that much last season but this season, we need to watch out for him. Because of Ashley Young, you know, coming back from the World Cup, he might have an extended break. He played a lot of games and he played really well. Uh, he's expensive as well with 6 million. But a player from Manchester United's defence, 5 million, so 5.0 price tag, is incredible. And if Luke Shaw does manage to keep fit and does play some of their preseason games, he might be a great option to actually get into that Manchester United defence. With 5.0 price tag, guys, you need to watch out for this guy. If he starts to play, 
regularly, then he might do well in the first few games. Then, of course, if you want to use your wild card, you can change it around if he doesn't. But we need to watch out for him. And he is going to be a great option if he actually does play. 5.0, he's going to be in my team straight away if I see him play. Now, next up, we've got Mendy. And, I mean, what can we say? We know what he can do. But he had a massive, massive injury. He hurt him a lot. You know, he didn't play. And his personality is an amazing um, person as well. So, 6.0 million is actually really, really expensive. But... I want a Manchester City defender um, to kind of like double up with Manchester City. So I need to watch out for this. You need to see what he does, if he can recover properly and when he's going to come back to the training. You need to watch out for his 5.5 um, percentage own as well. Now, when he played them first few games, he played incredible. He crossed so many balls in. So, oh my God, it was, it was disgusting. If he's going to be one of those players where he comes back, and starts to have a regular um, starting lineup, then he is going to be the one to bring in. A lot of people are going to be afraid of not having him, so we need to watch out for what he does in the preseason. Next up, we got Douglas. Now, place for Wolves, he's a defender. 5.0 price tag, which is quite um, expensive for someone that just came from the Championship. Owned by 4.7. We don't know much about him, but he plays on that left and he plays on the you know, left wing, he plays on the left back, plays on the left mid. He scored five goals and assisted 14. And he's a defender. 14 assists. That's like 14 clean sheets. And if he does have a clean sheet as well, you there's a lot of points to be gained. Now, of course, this is the Premier League. And, you know, a lot of... Um, you know, players that came from the championship or came from the board or something, it's very difficult for them to kind of adjust. And we don't know what he's going to do. But if he does well, there could be something here, guys. And if he is a player that actually starts to play in that uh, left uh, mid position, then, boy, you need to get this guy. 5.0 with a player that is playing out of position, I think that is a bargain. So we need to kind of watch out for him, see what he does in the preseason as well. Um, and Emerson, you know, a, a Chelsea player, 5.5. Well, most of the Chelsea players here are very, very expensive. And I put him on here because of the new manager. Now, the new manager, if he goes for the four at the back, then Alonso, there might be issues with Alonso not playing. So we need to kind of watch out for him. I added him here. I don't know how much he's going to do well, if he's going to do well at all. Even though if he plays or not. But if you're trying to get to that Chelsea um, defence with 5.5 million. I think if he, like, if he starts to play. Then this might be a great option. But we need to watch out. We need to see what happens in the formation. And what the manager does. Because there's going to be a lot of rotations. A lot of different players. So we have to kind of look out for. I added him on here just because of this video. Talking about you know the preseason. We need to watch out for this. As for the midfielders, I'm going to go quite quick on these ones. Uh, William, 7.5. He's been owned by 8.2. It's quite, quite high. But there's a reason for that. Now, because of the new manager with a new formation, you know, if he's going for 4 3 3, then he's going to be the one that we're going to look for. If Hazard does go, then Pedro might take over. So these are the things that we need to look out for in the preseason. Now, with um, nine clean sheets, eight assists, and six goals. Pretty decent, actually, for his price tag. If only he does play all of the games, he could get a lot of goals, a lot of points. So we need to watch out for him. The fixtures are actually decent as well. Um, decent, decent home games. I know they're playing against Arsenal as well, but they seem to do well at home against them. So, yeah, like, if they do well and the manager gets that nice formation for him to play in, He's someone that we need to look out for. Next up, we've got Jan Milenko. 7 million price tag. We don't know much about him. Plays for uh, West Ham, a new player that just came from the Bundesliga. Uh, owned by 5.3%, which is quite decent. The fixtures here is kind of on and off. They got a uh, bad fixture and then a good, bad and good. So there is a lot of rotations that you can do with him. And is it someone that we need to look out for? Is it someone that could do well for us well he did 
he didn't do that well last season. I think he's got like three goals and uh, four or five assists in the Bundesliga itself. Just only that in that league. Um, you know, this is not concerning any of the Cups or Champions League or anything like that. But the year before, I think he scored around 15 goals. So that's quite a lot. And he plays on that right wing, sometimes mid, sometimes attack. You know, he changes a lot. So he might be an option. If he does start to take these free kicks or any of the corners or anything like that, then 7 million might be a nice price tag. There is a lot of 7 million or 7.5 million price tag players that are actually really, really decent. We just need to see if they, they can be nailed on and actually does well. Shakiri, we know a lot about Shakiri. You know, eight, um, 7.5, plays for Liverpool now. Incredible player, good fixtures. You got Firmino, you got Mane, and you got Salah. Oh, who are you going to rotate? You're going to rotate Mane with Shakiri? I mean, Offset Champion obviously is injured for quite a while. So he can actually take his place. Maybe he might even play midfield. We don't know that much. With this preseason, we will know exactly who's going to start. And we need to see how much game time he has. He does take a lot of free kicks and corners as well. So that might help him get a few points. But because a lot of people's got Salah in their team, I don't think this guy is going to be a great option. But it is a player that we need to watch out for because he could do really, really well in that Liverpool team if he actually plays. Now, Martial is a player that I am very, very interested in. I really want him on my team because of Lukaku and Rushwood went to the World Cup and they might have these extended uh, holidays. So this means there is um, Martial and Sanchez gonna be playing up front for Manchester United. Now, if that's the case, if he is going to be playing up front with a price tag of 7.5 million, I think that is an incredible bargain. It all depends on how much game time he has. We need to see how much he plays if he does score. And if he does, then, you know, Lukaku, it will take more Lukaku a few more weeks before he actually, you know, gets gains that fitness and starts to take over his place. And of course, with this wild early wild card going around, I think... For the early stages, this might this player might do really, really well. So I've got my eye on this one a lot. Um, like Manchester United players a lot because they could do well. Um, yeah, Martial is the one that you want to look out for. Um, I had it here Lamella because... Well, Harry Kane is not here, right? He's not, he's not training yet. Um, he's got holiday... There might be an extended one, and we don't know what's going to happen. Uh, Ali is not there. Song is not there. So someone needs to step up. And obviously, Ericsson might be there, but he might have... A f we don't know that much. Eric Lamella scored a couple of goals anyway in his uh, first um, preseason game, I think. I think it's his first one. I have to make sure on that one. So he, played, he scored a couple of goals already, so he's doing really well in the preseason. Um, two goals, four assists. It's not really that good, but he actually did really well when he came back from the injury. You know, he 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 scored a lot of points in the early stages. So, but it's not just that that he plays for Tottenham. You know, he's a midfielder. Is his price tag of six point five? Now I know he's not been known that much, but it's just this video is about players to look out for, players to see who could do well, uh, who could do early on. So this is why I gave you, I'm giving you guys a few player options just to think about. So Lamella could be someone on, on my radar, so we'll see. If I'm going to use that early wild card to see exactly what's going on, to see all the players coming back and playing and whatever, then I might get Lamella for the first few um, games. Now their fixtures is not that good. First two is decent, but then it becomes difficult with Manchester United, Watford, and actually uh, Liverpool at home. So, other than that, we got the forwards. We got Morata, we got Saha, we got Wood. Now, the problem is with the strikers, there's not many new strikers. But I wanted to just to give you guys these three options. I don't want to talk about too much of them, but we've got Morata here. Now, 
you know, he was a rotation risk with Giroud, so we need to kind of watch out for that. But Giroud, you know, won the World Cup. Uh, he might have some extended holidays, and we need to see how well he does. The price tag is actually really, really interesting of 9 million. Very, very good. Decent fixtures. Actually, very, very good fixtures for Mor Morata. And uh, if he does get this starting lineup, if the manager actually really likes him and they added a few more players into their team, I think this guy could do well. Not many people are in it right now, so there might be a great option for a lot of people to do something different and go for differentials. I will stay away for now. Obviously, we need to check and what he does in preseason, but 9 million. That's not bad. That's actually a really good price tag. We don't have a 9 million price tag. We've got 9.5 million uh, with Firmino and Lacazette. And, you know, we don't have a good 9 million. So, Morata could be an option. Zaha. Now, he's a forward in the game. But sometimes he could drop a little bit. And he could play in the midfield. Which does put me off, off him a little bit. Now, he's incredible. He's going to be the main guy for the Crystal Palace. He's going to bring all them, um, them penalties, assists and stuff like that. But because of Ben Teke coming back, he's kind of taking his role. Uh, so, we need to watch out for that as well in the season. Yes, he is an incredible player. He's been high owned with 30%. I'm not going to disagree with that. I, had him, I have him in my team. I'm probably going to stick with him. Or, you know, I might change. We'll see. But I need to check this... Um, this preseason to see exactly what he does and how he does it. Uh, and plus, there's a, a few um, transfer, you know, transfer gossip that he might move on or stuff like that. So just keep an eye on him, guys. Keep an eye on him, but he should do really, really well. And we've got Wood here, a very cheap um, a striker. There's Austin as well that I could have went for. But a player that's got 10 goals, one assist. That's actually really good. Very good bonus magnet as well when he does score. Um, 6.5, only 2.8% of people actually owned him. His fixtures actually really, really well. It's not that bad. Decent fixtures. And the only problem is because they got the European, you know, they got the cup to play. So they've got to play early. So we've got to see them, you know, getting that match fit. But it is... They're going to have a lot of games in hand. You know, they're going to play a lot of games. So, it's a player that could do really, really well in this fixture. But it's just these fixtures are looking so good. Need to see how well he does. You know, how well he starts. So, yeah. I thought I'll give you guys these options. These, not be, these, these players might not be the best. And they're not. And there's other players that we can talk about as well. But I wanted to give you guys something to think about. Um, something to look towards too. Something to watch. And um, yeah, I'm going to create another video uh, about my team. Um, like my update team uh, on Friday or Saturday. Probably Saturday. Yeah, in the, in the weekend, I'll probably send, um, you know, post my post my updated, um, updated team. And uh, yeah, I hope this helped. I mean, this is something that I wanted to talk about. It's just all about talk anyway. We don't know what's going to happen. These these players might, some of these players might not play. Some of them might. Some of them might do really well. Some of them won't. I'm not saying bring them in your team, but have a look and have a think and see what they do in the season, uh, in the preseason. There's still a couple of weeks. I think it's like three three weeks or so, and preseason is not even underway properly. And there are still a couple of games for each of these teams to play. So everything can change. There's still transfers. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like. Come subscribe as well if you want to see more things like this. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.